What's up guys? This week I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a 4th of July cake. I already baked my cake so I've got red and blue and then the icing in between is going to be white because on the inside I'm going to do an American flag. I did this years ago and you guys loved it but I thought I would do a new modern twist on it. So I'm just going to take my cakes out of their pans and then level them, create my layers so we can start layering them up. To layer it up, I want to make sure that each layer of icing has an even layer of icing so that we have really perfect stripes on the inside of the cake. So I'm going to pipe them in with a piping zig and I just have a round tip. I always find surprise inside cakes look so funny at the beginning. Like this one just has this kind of donut blue shape going on here. But once it starts layering up, then it will start coming together, hopefully. I've done the thicker coat of icing after crumb coating it, and now I have to use these cake combs again. I've only ever used them once, and the first time I used them, my icing was too stiff, and it looked like garbage, and I had to scrape the whole cake down. So this icing I've made a lot more thin, so I'm hoping that I won't run into any problems, I won't have to scrape this one back. But I'm going to smooth out the sides with the flat one, and then, hopefully very smoothly <laughs> do all the stripes with this one. And then I get to pipe the red in between the stripes. This is gonna be like red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white. I think it's okay. I feel like the outside of it looks a little bit rough. I can still see the defined lines, so I think we're okay. I'm gonna clean up this top edge and then pop in the fridge for like at least an hour. And then we can make the decorations for on top. Cake is in the fridge and I'm gonna make some decorations that go on top. I did mean to make these ones a couple days ago so that way they had time to dry. Um, I'm gonna make little like curly ribbon kind of swirls that are gonna go on top of the cake with sprinkles and drips and all sorts of fun things. So I want it to be really festive. So I'm adding Tylo's powder into my fondant to help it dry now. So that way it'll hopefully dry in time that I need to add these to the cake. Feels a little strange making a cake that's so fun and bright and festive and happy to celebrate. You know, when there's so much negativity going on in the world. I just wanna say, I believe in everyone who's fighting for change and fighting for what's right and equal rights and everything. So I wanna dedicate this cake to everyone who's fighting for change. I'm hopeful for a better future with everyone who's out there fighting for one. Hopefully I have enough Tyler's powder in there that this will dry really quickly. Um, so I'm gonna roll out into little strips and then I'm gonna wrap those little strips around some dowels to make little curly ribbons and then cut out some hearts out of my white and red fondant. Ooh, and then make like a fun sprinkle blend with, with these ones that I can sprinkle on top. So the other night I got super bored, went to the craft store and made little paper rockets to go on top of the cake. I thought that they would kind of look like fireworks coming out of it, very festive. So I basically cut out a little piece of paper and made little, little tubes. And then I made little hats for the tubes. And then I made all these decorations and I glued them all together. So I'm gonna show you how to do one quickly. I 
I feel like these are gonna look fantastic, but I also didn't really know what I was getting into for how many hours of work all these details were gonna be. So this cake has been chilling for a while. Let's put some red stripes on it. So last time I did the white stripes and then rainbow kind of going up it. This one, I'm just gonna do red stripes. And the whole thing is you're filling the gap there that has no icing with the colored icing that you want to do. And then when I smooth it out with this, then it'll just blend them both together. I guess it'll kind of look like a candy cane until we get all the blue on there. I'm aware that this doesn't look good and it's kind of ruining the top of the cake, but I did it on purpose. So when I was planning out the stripes, I thought I could either have white on the bottom and white on top so the top looked good, or I could have red on the bottom and red on top. But the thing is I wanted the red to break up the white on the cake board, otherwise you wouldn't really see that defined line at the bottom of the cake. I figured the top of the cake, it wouldn't matter if this red was blending into the white because we're gonna do like a blue drip. I just made my chocolate drip, which is just like a chocolate ganache that I dyed blue. Except this time I tried making chocolate ganache with water because I heard you could do that. And I feel like it worked. I feel like it worked really well. I even add my blue food coloring to my water so that way I didn't risk kind of seizing it. The reason why I did it off camera is because I was kind of panicking as I was making it. God, I haven't done a drip cake in years. Like I think the last one I did was like an ice cream drip cake that I did, I want to say at least three years ago. So my plan is I'm gonna do pretty little drips trickling down the cake and then cover the top in blue and then like sprinkles, confetti, fireworks, celebration. I can't wait to see what this cake looks like on the inside, but I am already loving the outside. I feel like all the details came together so well. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe. Let's see what it looks like.